guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development. and Today we are gonna be educating on the incline dumbbell curl. Now when we're going through this movement, an exercise that you could substitute for this movement or use this movement as a substitute would be the facing away cable curl. If you haven't seen that video of ours yet, then we'll have that linked below, but definitely go check it out. I like to mention what can be substitutes because if you're training at a busy gym and maybe you've seen the facing away cable curl and you know that that's either in your programming or you want to do that, but you can't get a cable set up, then you can go ahead and do an incline dumbbell curl. So let's go ahead and go through the setup to be able to work the bicep in the lengthened position. First, we want to ensure that the bench is set up at an angle that as we lean back, our upper arm is vertical with the ground. Now our shoulders are also going to be retracted here going through this movement. Theoretically, we can have the bench at any angle that you can still have that upper arm vertical to the ground while being at an incline. You just need to ensure that it's set up that way. As I said, you're gonna go ahead and retract your shoulders going through this movement, and you wanna keep your upper arm in the same place. We're gonna go ahead and have a supinated grip here, so your palms are gonna be facing towards the ceiling. As we go through this movement, you're gonna be using your upper back to stabilize, so your rhomboids and traps are going to be working to stabilize your scapula and your upper back. So as we go ahead and get set up, then we are gonna go ahead and think about curling the weight and thinking about squeezing that forearm to your bicep. And one thing we want to ensure that we're not doing as we go through this movement is to not only not have our wrists neutral, so having them bent up or backwards, we want those neutral, but also we want to ensure that again, our shoulders stay retracted, your scapula stay retracted here, and we don't want those shoulders rolling forward as we're curling up the weight. Another common mistake we see here is that upper arm moving and that elbow moving forward. We want to ensure that this upper arm stays in the same place as we go ahead and curl this movement up. And that is exactly how you perform the dumbbell incline curl. This one was short and sweet, but when it comes to training biceps, there's not too much to keep in mind. You just really want to think about keeping that upper arm stable, and we are going to stabilize through our upper back as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna check out any more of our free, yes, free content, then continue watching our YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell. But you can also check us out on Instagram, TikTok, and our website, and there's tons of free content to be able to help you in your fitness goals. Now, if you're looking for a little bit of a more personalized approach and you need that accountability with one-on-one -on -one coaching, then go ahead and hop on a free call with us to see if you'd be a good fit. The inquiry link is below, and I can't wait to chat.